Screencast-O-Matic is a free online screencasting tool. You use this when you want to explain to students how to do something on the computer, on the tablet, and you're able to catch all of your movements so people can see what to do. So to get going with Screencast-O-Matic, you go to click on Start Recording, and it will start loading the screen recorder. If you haven't used it before, it will ask you to install a Java applet, which I've already done. And then once it's ready to go, this one says you've already got a recording from before. I'm just going to get rid of that. And now I'm ready to do my new recording. And you can see there is a dotted line around the edge of the page. That allows you to adjust how big you want the recording area to be. And as well as that recording area, we've got a number of buttons down the bottom here. We've got record, we've got the select microphone tool, um, we've got our set the microphone volume, so you can decide how loud you want the microphone to be. So I can adjust it up, and you can see that's more improving, or we can drop it down again. Yeah, OK. Um, you can decide the size of the screen. And we've also got an option here to use a webcam to record, which we'll come back to later. So we're all ready to go with recording. Now this is going to be interesting because I'm using screencasting software to record this video and I'm about to use screencasting software within that screencast. Let's see if it works. So we'll hit record, you get a countdown, and here we are recording. And at the moment I'm just moving around, choosing some different options on the screen just to see what happens. Going into GoPro, here's more information. OK, let's go back to the welcome. At the moment, we're just getting a sense of what the video would like, look like if we we're using it. Once you've finished showing all the things you want to show on the screen, you click Done. And then we're ready to hear the video played back. So let's hit Play. So there we go, there's our little video that we took. Once you've got your video, you've got three options. You can publish to the Screencast-O-Matic site. You can publish to YouTube, which is where I generally put my videos. Um, when you're publishing to YouTube, if you make it a personal one, it means it isn't public to the world, it's just available to those people who have the link. Or otherwise, you can actually save it to your computer by publishing to video file. So that's Screencast-O-Matic.